Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Materials Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. I also took my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in the pharmaceutical chemistry program. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you need any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one asks, what is the molar mass of HNO3? So to answer this question, we need the atomic masses of hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. So the molar mass of HNO3 is just the molar mass of hydrogen plus the molar mass of nitrogen plus three times the molar mass of oxygen, since there are three oxygen atoms in the compound. So the molar mass values are just the values that you can find on your periodic table uh, for hydrogen. Its molar mass is 1.01 .01 grams per mole. For nitrogen, it's around 14.01 grams per mole. And for oxygen, it'll be 15.99 grams per mole. Okay, so now we're just going to add all these values up and we'll get a final molar mass of 63.02 grams per mole. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, they said, step one is to determine the atomic mass of each element in the compound using the periodic table. So they just wrote out all the atomic masses of hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Uh, then you want to multiply each of the atomic masses by their corresponding subscripts in the chemical formula. Here there are, well there should, I guess they mean one hydrogen atom, one nitrogen atom, and uh, three oxygen atoms. So they just uh, mess up a bit there. But they did the math correctly. And they still ended up with 63.018 grams per mole. So I can verify that this solution is correct. Okay, so moving.